What's up everybody, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about five things that are killing your game. Okay, I've been coaching since 2012. I've had a variety of students over the years. I've pretty much seen and done everything at this point. And I've seen the most common mistakes in my clients, okay? Both through guys I've coached in person, through guys I've seen in my masterminds and in the forums, okay? And guys on my live programs, okay? Before I go into these five big problems in most of your game, I want to encourage you to subscribe. If you have not already, press the notification bell to be alerted of my new videos Sunday through Thursday. Okay, what is number one? Taking too long to approach or otherwise pussying out, chickening out to approach, okay? I teach guys to use the old school three second rule. That means from the moment you see a beautiful girl, a beautiful stranger that you want to talk to, you have no more than three seconds to go in, okay? So you see the girl, boom. If you hesitate and you start doubting yourself, okay, and wondering if you should go in or not, she could see you building up courage to approach her, okay? And it's gonna look low value. She can see that you don't have enough confidence or enough balls to go in. Someone else come and talk to her. That could be a guy, okay? And now she's involved in another conversation with a guy. It could be her friends. Okay, her friends could be coming, taking her to the dance floor, taking her to the bathroom. She could get interrupted, okay? She could be ordering a drink, etc. So your window is going to close or you're gonna lose your opportunity completely because some other guy's gonna step in or she's just gonna leave in general, okay? And for all those missed shots, okay, I think it's fucking Wayne Gretzky or something that says, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, okay? So make yourself a rule, three seconds, boom, don't, Take too long to approach, don't skip approaches, okay? Unless you're late for a meeting during the day or something, you're coming back from lunch break and there's a chick and you're already late for your meeting, that's an excuse not to approach, okay? Number two, being fancy, gimmicky, or otherwise gamey. What does that mean? It means walking up to a girl and saying, hey, you look like a Sarah, okay? That's called cold reading. If you do any kind of cold reading, cut it out. Okay, shit coaches like Todd V teach that shit. It's incredibly cheesy. The girl's gonna see right through it. Don't say you look like you're from Kentucky or other stupid stuff like that, okay? Anything, and I could just rattle off a million examples. It doesn't even need to be on the opener. Anything that you think of saying that, oh, I'm gonna say this for this effect, don't do it, okay? Anything that falls under the rule of, I'm going to do this to impress her. I'm gonna do this so that she'll like me. I'm gonna do this so that I'm winning points with her, so that I'm cool. That all comes from the frame of, I'm not good enough, I'm too low value in the first place, let me use this little fancy gambit and it will win me some points, okay? And the girl sees right through that, it's very transparent, and it comes from a very weak place and the girl's like, uh, what the fuck, okay? So cut out fancy, gamey, gimmicky openers and cut out fancy, gamey, and gimmicky verbals okay that's a very surefire way to actually lose points and be counterproductive in the interaction okay so 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 far we have taking too long to approach or not approaching at all being fancy gimmicky or gamey okay if you fix those two things you're going to be approaching a lot more you're not going to be missing approaches and when you're in there you're going to be acting normal and high value and confident rather than trying to be some cool guy Okay. Number three, having a conversation that leads to nowhere. Okay. Or kind of in the same, by the same token, not leading things forward, not moving things forward. Okay. So what I've seen with lots of my clients is guys don't have a game plan about how to move it along the line towards sex. Okay. They have it. They say some stuff and then they're like, okay, what should I say next? Okay. What should I say next? How do I keep this interaction going? How do I get her to like me? How do I not fuck this up? Should I tell this joke? I'm not sure if I should tell this joke. Okay, I've been going for three minutes. Hopefully I can get to four minutes before she leaves. Okay, it's bullshit. You're just spinning your, it's called spinning your wheels. It's also called, you know, if you're doing RSD type bullshit, being a dancing monkey. Okay, the girl's gonna be like, what the fuck? And you're gonna get a, have a good night. Nice to meet you. So you want to have your game be structured at a high level. Okay, that's what I teach on my live programs and in my digital product. It is how to move things forward, okay? 
Guys have told me that my system is very similar to Jordan Belfort's straight line persuasion system. He is the main character that Leonardo DiCaprio plays in The Wolf of Wall Street. And he is moving the client and he's training his sales team to move the prospect from the initial cold call to buying. Okay, and he's moving them forward. There's points where they cannot comply, okay, or diverge off the straight line persuasion system. Okay, so he gets a certain amount of the way, they diverge, he knows the optimal way to bring them back. Okay, and this is what I train, this is what my, my training is centered around. Now you're back in the straight line, you move forward again. Okay, so there's never any guesswork, there's never any doubt, you're not just like free, like, I almost said free balling. You're not just winging it, free form, okay, you're vibing, your conversation, that is dynamic and free form, but there's a high level structure that's very specific that you are following. And you are moving things along this straight line, okay? And when certain events come up and it diverges, you know how to bring it back to the straight line. That may, So my system teaches you how to be the most effective and efficient to move it forward towards sex, okay? So do not have conversations that lead to nowhere, okay? I'm not gonna go through my entire method in this video, but you need to learn the proper method I think mine is the best out there. Okay, if you're interested in that, the link is in the description under my complete system. You need to be able to move things forward from point A to B. Don't just be spinning your wheels. Don't just be, you know, proud of yourself because you had a bunch of conversations. That's not an accomplishment. You're not gonna fuck those girls if you didn't move it towards sex or you didn't set up the, the phone number close so you can get a date that will lead to sex at a later time. Okay, so we have recap number one taking too long to approach or not approaching, okay, chickening out. Number two, being too fancy, gimmicky or gamey, okay? That's bullshit. You don't wanna be saying fancy stuff. Number three, having a conversation that leads to nowhere and not moving things forward, okay? That brings us to number four, not sexualizing the interaction. There's two components to that, two components. Number one, physicality, okay? Hip touches, hand holding, Okay, nudges, standing next to her, putting your arm around her back, okay, getting close to her, kissing her. These are all examples of sexualizing things physically. Then you have your sexual verbals, okay? That entails making sexual innuendos, that entails talking dirty to the girl, okay, in some cases even very explicitly. And that's going to make the conversation non platonic. I've seen far too often the students are afraid. Okay, and rightfully so, if you're not used to doing this, they're afraid, oh, if I touch the girl, she might be really offended and blow me out and the interaction will be over. Oh, like, if I say something sexual, she might look at me funny and like, things might be done, right? Uh, how do I be sexual and not be ashamed of it? Okay, this is like a big leap. I tell clients that as long as they're owning it, okay, it's coming from a place of, boom, I think I'm gonna sleep with this girl, I'm not afraid to express my intentions. Okay, it doesn't mean go way over the top and be a fucking creep. Be like, hey, what's up? Can I meet you? Be like, I want to fuck you tonight. Like, like, hey, why am why are you not bent over the bar? All right, that's taking things really fast. It's better to do a gradual build up, and as she complies, and as she's warming up more and more, then you can get more aggressive. Or as your skill increases, you can go up a lot quicker. Okay, if I open a girl and she's giving me a look, I'll be like, what the fuck's that look? I'll be like, and she's like, what, what? And if she's like smiling, I'll be like. You're looking at me like you want me to fucking take you to the bathroom right now, but I'm but I'm laughing and I'm joking about it, and it's congruent and it's natural because I've said stuff like this a million times, and I'm not using it as a line. That's the huge thing. If you guys went out and tried to do that this coming weekend, it would be coming off as like a tactic. Okay, what they refer to in the game community as an outer game tactic. That is not going to be useful. Okay, instead it needs to come from an internal place. It's said spontaneously just because I'm already thinking that I'm gonna bang this girl. And now that falls in line with, okay, she's making this face like she wants to bang me too. I'm gonna to say something about it. All right? So not sexualizing interactions, number four. Recap it one more time. Taking too long to approach or pussying out. Being fancy, gimmicky, or gamey. Having a conversation that leads to nowhere, okay, and or not leading things forward. And number four, not sexualizing your interactions, which includes both the sexual verbals and also the physicality, okay? Number five, out of the list of five, doubting your own value. Okay? Any part of that voice in your head that tells you, I'm not good enough. What if she doesn't like me? What if I fuck up? What if I say something she doesn't like? Okay? What if she doesn't like how I look? What if you know, I did X thing that was stupid? Okay? 
etc., 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 and the, the reverse end of it plays as well. Oh, how do I get her to like me more? Okay, how do I get this interaction to, to be going on longer? I'm not thinking any of that shit when I go in, okay? And I'm not teaching my clients to do that either. The best internal frame, the best inner game mindset to have is you already got the girl before you approach. I tell my clients, treat this like you've already fucked the girl, okay? If you've already fucked the girl, do you give a shit what's coming out of your mouth? No. Okay? If you if you happen to offend her, you, take, you, you backpedal a little bit, apologize, laugh, keep going, okay? But you're not in there trying to win her over. You're not, the, the purpose of the interaction isn't to gain points. It's not to win her over. It's not to make her like you, okay? I walk into a nightclub and I'm like, someone in here is getting fucked tonight, okay? It could be anyone, okay? And I walk around with that attitude. It's kind of like looking like, okay, maybe it's me that hot chick. Maybe it's me that hot chick. Maybe I'm gonna get 10 of these hot chicks phone numbers and fuck them all on dates during this week, okay? But when I approach them, I'm not like, oh, I hope she likes me, okay? And even if you haven't been with any girls or, or very many girls at all, you can't come in there with that scared mindset, okay? Doubting yourself. And I talk about that in my video about how these other companies teach you to build up your state. Oh, build up, build up your value so that when you go in, you have the proper amount of momentum or state or whatever value built up so that now you can shine, right? No, wrong. What you are doing, as a quick little lesson here, if you are thinking your value Okay, is less than 100 out of 100, right? So you have this, this meter here. My value is at 60, my value is at 40, whatever. What you are doing is handicapping yourself, okay? If you don't believe in your own value and your own worth, okay, the girl never will, I promise you. And the best analogy that I like to use is if you walked into a car dealership and they said, hey, we have this car over here. It's got a, bust, a bunch of uh, busted parts a bunch of things are not working. It needs a lot of fixing. It's really rusted and beat up. Uh, do you want to buy it? All right? And the people are going to be like, fuck no. Okay? And he's like, okay, well, we have this shiny, new, freshly waxed car. Okay? That represents the guy that's sure of himself. Okay? Regardless of your level of skill, that represents the cool, high-value man. Okay? Yeah, I think I'll, I'd like to hear more about this one. Right? Boom. That's all that needs to be said. So stop doubting your value, okay? To recap the list of the five game killers that are fucking up your game, okay? Number one, taking too long to approach. You fix that by waiting no more than three seconds. You go in, boom, no more doubting talk, no more, oh, I'll, I'll get the next one, or, oh, some excuse, she probably has a boyfriend. No, three seconds, you go in. Number two, stop being fancy, gimmicky, and gamey, okay? No more cheese bullshit mostly comes from RSD and is fucking you all up for years, okay? No more, you look like a Sarah, this bullshit cold reading. No more little stupid cheesy openers, okay? Hey, I wanted to meet you, what's your name? Okay, direct, simple, and also low pressure. Real quick, just for a second, okay? Cut out the fancy and gimmicky stuff. Stop having spinning your wheels, dancing monkey conversations that lead to nowhere, okay? Because you're gonna get a lot of have a good night, it was nice talking to you, etc especially combined with number four when you're not sexualizing, okay? Even worse than not leading things forward is just having this thing where you're having this fact exchange, this platonic infor information exchange. Oh, so you do that at work? Really cool, tell me more about that. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I once was doing this and that and blah, 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 and the girl's like, oh my God, get me the fuck out of here, okay? Versus me who's rolling up and is like, damn, you actually are fucking hot, let me see your ass. Ha, 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 right? Now she's like, damn, this guy, Fuck me, I could fuck him, okay? So sexualize your interactions. And here's a girl arriving. Number five, stop doubting your value. I'll get that in a moment. <laughs> stop doubting your value. Bring full confidence to the table, okay? Assume you got the girl before you go in. Don't think you need to win points or fuck it up. It's already a done deal before you go in. Your point is to go in, okay? Find out her logistical situation, answer her objections, and make things happen, okay? That's it, that's the five game killers. If you're interested in taking this a lot further and getting all the specific details for learning that, the link below in the description for check out my complete system, okay, John Anthony system. It's the first link in the description or sign up for a live program or you need to answer this door. This girl's fucking getting impatient. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, press the bell button. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.